Say, I want to search for the word projects or project. This is what I have. After you type it in, you just hit search and hit IQ will come up with, uh, you know, the best, uh, best uh, matches for it and related keywords they have up here on top like bad obsess obsession and motorsport and project binky and austin mini which i wouldn't use but to improve your video and use the best tags possible they suggest that you upgrade and i haven't upgraded um now interest over time is what they show here then they show down here the tag the project is over 100 and then x project 55 you know and that's that and then rising then you have the rise a rising option for search queries and it says fly project music and three just things like that so I come in here and I do this and from other tutorials I've learned that I need to work on my uh, my description on my YouTube so I started doing that and then I add my keywords on there and when it comes to that you know, I don't use keyword inspectors very much but it does show me my S S o SEO score when I do it and it has actionable uh, words and for tags and tag count, tag volume, keywords in title, um, keywords in description, and then tripled keywords. Now when I post it down here, it'll start giving me uh, you know my performance between zero and fifty, and then ranked uh, tags and then high volume ranked tags which I find that very useful. Um, the trends alert that you have to have, uh, you have to have, you have to pay for it basically. And then uh, down here is help and feedback. And or the, uh, down here under help and feedback is uh, your, your IQ preferences. And um, like here I've got all of them checked. Um, and what it is is like character counters, keyword inspector, clear keywords, copy keywords, drag and drop keywords, translate, recommended tags, emoji menus, which I could probably type that because that's pretty annoying. But SEO score and checklist. You can check and uncheck that if you want to. Um, up here. It gives me, you know, my views um, in the last 60 minutes, last 48 hours, last seven days, and minutes watch in the last seven days, um, and then my subscribers, because you know, there are, and then down underneath it says uh, average minutes watched, and then it gives me the amount and the percentage if it's gone up or down. It usually shows green if it's good and uh, bad if it's or red if it's if it's gone down. Green if it's gone up, red if it's gone down. But with uh, that I also have uh oh, this is so my, if I wanted to create a thumbnail other than putting one on, on YouTube, I can create a thumbnail for that IQ as well, but I don't ever use it. Now, other than that, vidIQ also has a YouTube channel that you can check out if you want to, and it's a, uh, I've never really gone to it to use it, but it has a playlist and videos on 
things like getting started with vidIQ and a tutorial for more views on YouTube. Um, then, like I've already subscribed, and it says confirm channel's subscription. I guess I have to go to my YouTube or my my uh, email to confirm. Hello, thanks for signing up and welcome to vidIQ, where we're passionate about helping you get more video views. And this is how we do it. Getting started is the first one. We have 50 more YouTube tools. 50 more awesome tools to grow your YouTube channel. Fifty tools for more views on YouTube, which was two months ago. Right. It looks like they post regularly. They got one for three weeks, one month, one month, one month. So they don't post like regularly, bi-weekly, but they, they are posting. Um, I don't know much about that, so I'm just, I just wanted to show it and let you guys see it. Now, this has been actually pretty helpful to me because in my YouTube tutorial or my YouTube review, I uh, talked about the subtitles, the CCs, and I didn't understand until I did this about how the subtitles were screwing up my, uh, my views, and it actually made it to where I had uh, videos that were considered uh, advertiser, un 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 friendly, uh, advertiser, uh, not advertiser friendly, that's how they said it. I was back when I was monetizing, but uh, I didn't know that until I started actually doing it because of the checklist, and it really helped me out. Figuring out a lot of things in here, so I do suggest it. Um, out of uh, with uh, that IQ, I do. Even though I have my problems with YouTube, I have no, I have no problems with that IQ. I have thumbs up with that IQ 100. So that's my review on that IQ. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching and have a good day.